Welcome back to Iowa's News Now at Noon. Sarah Riley is joining us for our Ask a Lawyer segment. And Sarah, this week we actually got a viewer call uh, saying, is it illegal for a neighbor to point a camera at your house uh, if it's on their property? And if not, is there any way I can legally get them to point it away from their property? Sure. Well, yeah. And if I was on the phone call with yeah. these people, I would have had some additional questions because as a general rule, um, and there's so many, there's so many uh, cameras now. Sure. I have um, a ring doorbell on my front door and on my back door. So I'm able to watch my dog during the day when she's outside by just checking in on the back door ring. And my front door ring, you can see the neighbors across the street. You can't see any more of the neighbors than if I was in my living room and looking out. Yeah. Um, so cameras are everywhere. Um, I would have asked this person, okay, it's on their property. Is it um, like at the edge of their property and are they purposely have a- Yeah, is it kind a, of blatantly- Yeah, or do they have this, is this camera to, to spy on you or is it for protection? Yeah. So if they had a camera, let's say you had a swimming pool and it's on your property, but you literally put a pole in your backyard, put the yeah, camera there yeah, yeah. so you can watch your neighbor's young daughter swim. That would be disgusting, and I'm sure you would be able to file a claim that they're invading your privacy because, you know, 24-7, they're able to watch you. Yeah, cool. and, and that it's kind of like deciphering that. Is that sure. something that is, has to be really kind of more blatant uh, as far as their kind of effort to, you know, look into your... Yeah, you, you would need to have something like the example I gave where you literally have at the edge of your property, you have a camera in a position that clearly is not intended to yeah. stop a burglar, or not stop you, a burglar, but warn you of somebody who's on your property. If it's literally at the edge and the whole thing is looking in maybe a bedroom window, because you could put it where, you know, unless they have the curtains drawn, you can see in their bedroom window. Then you could, you know, file a lawsuit um, for invasion of privacy because they really don't have that camera for their protection. But most cameras, and I assume if I had talked to this person, I would have found out that it's probably, you know, um, it shows their yard, but they're also trying to, or their house, but they're also trying to see if anyone comes onto their yeah. property. And just because of the range of the camera, they're getting their neighbor's property. And that is completely illegal. Um, and if it wasn't, you wouldn't be able to have any type of security cameras. Yeah, and it's probably safe to assume, too, that like those certain vantage points of, hey, this is the doorway, this is the garage, all of those are kind of like, this is typically where these right. cameras would be. Right, you'd want yeah. to have it near your garage because a lot of people who get robbed, or yeah. you know, especially during the daytime, they will often go through the, uh, the garage, maybe steal a couple bikes or whatever. Sure. Yeah. And if you have the camera, you can actually see the person doing it, and you've got a better chance of getting that bike back. Yeah, so hopefully... Uh, so we have some follow-up questions uh, as far as uh, we move along with this as well. But Sarah, thank you so much. And if you have questions for Sarah, here's the number to call and reach out to her. And as always, this segment is sponsored by the Tom Riley Law Firm.